Hey fam, it's Bishop Elect Lamar Simmons. And if you're anything like me, you love a good conspiracy theory. And I will admit, I was a little skeptical about the vaccine. But if you'll give me a few moments of your time, I'll explain why spiritually and scientifically, I believe we should take the vaccine. So at the beginning of the pandemic, I listened to a scientist explain how the virus works in the body. And as I listened to him explain how the virus works in the body, the Lord spoke to me and he told me to write a targeted prayer specific to what the scientist was saying, targeting how COVID-19 works in the body. Very specific, sent the prayer all over. Many people prayed it. We have many great testimonies from it. So give me a few moments, I'll take you through the prayer and then we'll deal with some facts. The prayer had three components. It was the binding of connecting, rejecting of deadly DNA, and loosing the artillery. So the way that COVID-19 works is it has these protein spikes that connects to the receptors of our blood cell. And when it connects to the receptor of our blood cell, that is how we get sick or how we get the virus. So the first component of the prayer was to bind our blood cells from connecting to that virus. Basically, we spoke to the blood cells and we commanded the blood cells to recognize COVID-19 as an enemy. It's not a friend, it's an enemy. And so that was the first part of the prayer. Second, if your blood cell did connect with COVID-19, see what happens is COVID-19 begins to download deadly DNA into our blood cells. And so then that blood cell would eventually erupt, releasing all corrupt DNA or RNA information to your body, right? So we specifically prayed that those cells that have connected, that they do not conform to COVID-19's DNA, that they correct themselves, that they do not let the false information of COVID change the nature or the function, fight it. So we prayed that. Then there was the loosing of artillery. And that is that our body automatically has a defense system. It, and so we prayed that the body would release leukocytes and that it would begin to fight and attack the virus. So this is what we pray. And now I want to talk to you about some facts because this prayer, now that I know what the vaccine really is, I'm realizing the vaccine is an answer to what we've been praying. Okay, so first off, when we pray for God to give us an answer, especially when it's concerning a healing, we've got to remember that God can answer that prayer by way of miracle or by way of medicine. So yes, medicine has been used for evil in the past, but God can also use medicine for his glory. Next, let's deal with some of the conspiracy theories, all right? The vaccine is not the mark of the beast. Now, if you're like me, you heard, I think is maybe CNN, uh, when someone explained that the vaccine was more technology than medicine. Red flag, because that means somebody's putting some type of machine or some type of technology in my body and I don't want it. Well, after learning exactly what the vaccine is, I know now that that is not true. The truth is they probably should have used some other wording. The truth between medicine and technology, they have uh, gone hand in hand throughout the years, but technology is the way that we administer medicine. Technology can never really replace medicine. And as far as the vaccine being the mark of the beast, I'm pretty sure by this vaccine, we will not be able to buy and sell groceries. So that kind of just, that kind of cancels that out, all right? Now, let's deal with another uh, conspiracy theory that the vaccine itself is actually the virus itself. That is not true. The truth is that was an old practice of vaccine, but vaccines have advanced and how we approach vaccines have advanced. And this particular vaccine against COVID-19 is one of the most advanced that does not use the virus to actually combat the virus. So then what are they giving us? What is the vaccine? Glad you ask. The vaccine is mRNA. Know within our blood cells, we have DNA or RNA, and 
what's in the vaccine is mRNA, a messenger RNA. Literally, it causes our blood cells to recognize COVID-19 as a foreign agent, as we prayed in the prayer, as an enemy. It awakens the awareness within our cells that this is not a friend. Don't connect to it. Don't let it connect to you, right? It maximizes the defense in our body. It's like upgrading the military or defense system uh, of your body. Look at it like this. Um, before the vaccine, your body had like a little BB gun to kind of combat this thing, right? But after the vaccine, your body is fighting back with machine guns, grenades, and tanks. Another fact is that 55% of Americans have been vaccinated, but not many of those 55% are African Americans. As a people, we've always been on the right side of the struggle for justice. But right now, I'm afraid we might end up on the wrong side of the survival of our people. Telling people that they're giving you the virus is wrong. Encouraging people not to take the vaccine could be an encouragement to die. Here in Tallahassee, we were blessed to have a Zoom conference with uh, the health department and many health officials uh, like Dr. Gerald Mandrell and Dr. Sunitha Strong. In that Zoom call, this was said, and it rings with me today. We are in a medical crisis. This virus has been outsmarting or outrunning humanity. And this vaccine helps us to outrun the virus. Over half a million people have lost their lives due to COVID. We could stop this number from growing to a million to millions by taking this vaccine. I've studied it, I've prayed for it, and the answer is here. So let's take it. I encourage you, in your cities, talk with your health officials, pray with God, but please understand that when we pray for an answer, there is a possibility that God could be doing a new thing and we not know it. Share this information with as many people as you can. I hope it'll help you to make the move to take the vaccine. Let's stay alive.